Hello, see here. Now I am going to explain you conversion of decimal form to rational form. For example, I am taking 15.75 is in decimal form. It is in decimal form or not? Yes, it is in decimal form. Now I am going to convert this into rational form. See here. Now, for what is here? For how many decimal places are there here? Two decimal places. For point, I am writing one. For two decimal places, I am writing zero. For example, if it is here three decimal places, we have to write three zeros. How many decimal places we have to that many zeros we have to write here now hundred by hundred numerator and denominator okay we have to multiply by numerator and denominator to the fifteen point seven five what we will get here five one five seven five by hundred so now if we want to simplify it you can simplify by divided by five divided by five so now see here five three is a fifteen. Now five ones are five. Now here five ones are five. Five five is a twenty-five, na. So now five twenty is a. So we can simplify it by dividing. So dividing the suitable number. Now let us take one more example. Seven point six. So how can we change into na rational form? That is here point for point we are writing one, and here how many decimal places are there? One. So I am writing one zero. So ten by ten multiply by ten by ten. That we will get seventy six by ten. If you want divided by sim, if you want to make it simplify, do division here. So here see here two four is a eight, but two three is a six, na? Two three is a six. Here one is there. Two eight is a sixteen. Now two five is a ten. So this is the form of simplification. Okay, simplification. Now this is the conversion of decimal form to rational form. Now how to convert? non terminating repeating decimals now these are no these are terminating decimals na? now i am going to explain you non terminating repeating decimals for example 0.4 bar so what we will going to do here see here now 0.4 bar is there na? so now let's consider x is equals to 0.4 bar so here what is the periodicity is here periodicity is equals to Periodicity is one. So here repeating decimal is one. Yes or no? So the periodicity is one. So now multiply with ten. Then periodicity is one. Multiply with ten. Periodicity is two. Multiply with hundred. So periodicity is one. So multiply with ten. Multiply with ten. Everyone clear? Now see here. X is equals to zero point four. Bar four bar you can write as four 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 and so on. Yes or no? Yes. We have to multiply with ten. Now ten x is equals to ten x equals to four point four 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 four. So consider this as a equation two, and this as a equation one. So now do the subtraction from equation one from two. Subtract equation. One from two. So here, this is the equation one. This is the equation two, na. So we have to subtract one from two. So what is the one equation? Equation one is. So first we write the equation two. Okay. Equation two is ten x is equals to four point four four four. Now we have to subtract one, na. X equals to zero point four 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 four. So now four minus four zero zero. Now four ten x minus x nine x. So here nine x equals to four na. So x is equals to four by nine. Everyone clear? So this is your representation of decimal form to the rational form. Here rational number is there four by nine. So here four by nine is equals to zero point four bar. Everyone clear?